Welcome to the homework for Lesson 8 of Module 2. This is Grade 1. Get your name on here first. And what we're doing is we're solving and making 10 frame drawings to show how you make 10 to solve. And this is just ca called Making 10. We're trying to do more addition instead of just counting on. And we're using what we know about the parts of 10 because we've been working on them so much we should know our parts of 10 really well now. You see an 8, you should be thinking, is there a 2 I can use to make a 10? And if there isn't, you should be thinking, how do I get a 2? Well, this is how you do it. There's the example right up here. This is for 8 plus 3, but we're doing 8 plus 4 now. And how you, you need 8, here's the 2 you need. We're going to get it out of the 4. And after you finish that 4, Right, four is two, and then the, uh, the rest of the four is another two. So the ten plus sentence that we need here is here's our ten. Right, you don't have to circle that, but that's our ten. That eight plus two, and then we still have the two that's left over from the rest of the four. Now when we draw our picture. This box right here is supposed to be a ten frame box, and it might it really 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 helps to draw it as a ten frame like that. So that here, this is what happens. We have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now the four, right? This is the plus four. Is this two, right? That's the two right there. And then two more. One, two, three, four. That's the, that's the other two outside. So it's two inside here, two outside. And that's the four that we're adding to the eight. So it's 10, because now this whole 10 frame here is a full 10. That's 10 plus these two, and 10 to 12. Now the rest of them I'm going to go through a little bit quicker. And so if you need to catch up, just go back to that explanation in the example. Or just watch along. 8 plus 6. 8 needs a 2. The rest of 6 is going to be 4 left. So we're going to have a 10, right? There's our 10, plus 4, 10, 4, 14. And here's our picture. And if this thing with the number bonds is, t it, you, a lot of times figuring out the second part of the number bond is difficult. And if it is, draw, draw the picture first and count it. So here's our 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's the 2 inside, the 4 outside. So here's the full 10 plus the 4 more, 14. And here's our last one here. Seven. Now seven needs. Oh, now this time we have this. The well, we're still working with eight, right? <clears throat> we usually want to break up the smaller number of the two, and it's not always the first number, right? It's not always the first number. We're not always breaking up the second, the number on the right, the right add end. Sometimes it's the first add end that we break up, because here's the eight, and we want a two. There we go. Two. Breaking up the seven, so two, and then there's going to be five left. But if you weren't sure about that, we can just two, three, four. Oh, okay. So I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in my ten frame. I've got ten spots, so here's my eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the seven is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 10 in the 10 frame and 5 outside of the 10 frame. 10, 5 is 15. Now we're making math, dreams, uh, math, math drawings. It's the same thing we did on the first page. It's just we have a little bit less room to work with here. And we're looking at the 10 plus expression is already figured out for us in each case. So we don't have to write the 10 plus sentence. We just have to finish... Uh, some of these are true and some of them aren't, and that's what we have to figure out. So we're going to solve this 8 plus 4, 
and we're going to see what it comes out to. Now, 8 needs a uh, 2, right? And we're going to uh, use the 10 frames, right? So 1, 2. Well, let's make it a t look like a 10 frame. It's easier that way. So the 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the 4 is going to be 2 in and 2 out. So that 4 is 2 in and 2 out. And that's 10 too, right? Here's our 10. That's 10 plus 2 more, 10 too. Those are both equal to 12. So circle the ones that are not true. So we're gonna, this one is true, so we're going to leave it alone. So now we have to figure out 10, 6. We know that the teen trick, that's 16, right? So we have to find out if 8 plus 8 equals 16. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's our 10 frame. And 8 needs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We need 2 more from the other 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's six more we needed for that were outside for the eight. So this is, there's our 10 and there's six, 10, six. That's 16. So 16, that's also true, 16 and 16. These two expressions are, are equal. So we'll leave that one alone because we're only circling the ones that are not true. Here we have 10, six, that's 16. And we're gonna find out if seven plus eight equals 16. And we're splitting up this 7 because we have an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7 is a little bit smaller than 8, so we're going to break up the 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 2 inside, 5 outside. There's our 10. So 10, 5. This is. 15. So this is not, 15 is not the same as 16, so it's not true, so we're going to circle it. And that's all we're doing. We've got three more to do like this. 10, 5, or 5 plus 10, the same as 10, 5, that's 15, and we're going to check out this 5 plus 8. 2, 3, 4. There's our 10 frame. 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you got to, even if you're doing this in your head now, which you might be able to, but it's okay if you're not. Um, you still got to have this 10 frame picture. You got to have it for every single one of them. So make sure that you're doing it. right? If you're doing these number bonds, make sure you're checking your number bonds by just, you have to have this picture. You have to have it. So, um, right, we need five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so this five is going to be two and three, right? And there's our 10, so it's 10, three. 10, three is 13, so 13 and 15 are not the same, so this is not equal. And you gotta have this, you gotta have the number bond, you gotta have the picture, and that, and you, and you have, that's what you have to have. You have to have both of those things. So here we have two plus 10, that's a 12. Eight plus three, three is two and one left over. Right, so there's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it's one, two, three is our other add in. That's 10, right, and one. 10, one is 11. 12 and 11 are not the same, so it's false. We circle it. And now we have this one, and we have a 10, seven. That's 17, and we're going to find out if eight plus nine is equal to 17. Now the thing with nine is that remember we're breaking up the smaller number, so we're not always breaking up whatever the number is we're adding to eight. So it's easier to break up the the smaller number. That's going to be a one, <clears throat> and then one less than eight is seven, and that's what the, our picture should show. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This time, right? Because we're splitting up the eight. So we're keeping the 9 in the 10 frame first, and we need one more from the 8. 1, and then the rest. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 7 outside 
the 10 frame, right? Just like there's the seven. That's 10. So this is 10 and seven. That's 17, 17 and 17. They're equal. So we'll leave that one alone.